Welcome to our lecture online. To get a better understanding of what a normal probability distribution is, we should look at one that is not a normal probability distribution. So take a look over here and notice that the curve appears to be what we call skewed. If you look at the particular numbers, notice that the maximum probability occurs with the number 2. But there's a lot of, a lot of probability points to the right of the maximum probability point where x equals 2 if x is the random variable. And notice there's just a few points to the left of the peak. Now that makes it a skewed curve, therefore not a normal curve, and it's skewed to the right, which seems counterintuitive because you see the maximum to the left of the distribution of points, and so you think that that was skewed, skewed to the left, but it's actually skewed to the right because notice there's way more numbers to the right than there's to the left. Or better yet, notice that the peak occurs at 380, when x equals 380, we have the highest probability when x equals 2, or I should say when the number equals 2. There's only 190 points to the left and 430 points to the right, or values to the right. So there's way more values to the right of the maximum to the left of the maximum, so there we say that it's skewed to the right. So let's see what the numbers here represent. We're asking a thousand households, presumably at random, we just pick them at random out of the phone book. Well, we don't use phone books anymore, of course. We pick a, a random a thousand households and we ask how many cars they have. And notice that 70 responded they had no cars, 120 said they had one car, 380 said they had two cars, 210 said they had three cars, and so forth. So you see there's some families that have a lot of cars, not a lot of the thousand, but they're there, and that's why things are skewed to the right in this particular presentation. So you can see that there are abnormalities on this curve that doesn't make it a normal probability distribution. Also note that the maximum probability occurs when a family has two cars, more families have two cars than any other number of cars. And then notice that the mean of the distribution is 2.8. We'll show you later how to calculate that mean. So the mean is quite a bit to the right of the maximum probability. When there's a normal probability curve, the mean and the maximum probability end up being very, very close or presumably right on top of one another. But here you can see there's some separation that the mean is to the right from the highest probability. Again, that takes it away from not being um, a normal probability distribution. So at least you can see the difference, and we're going to work with a normal probability distribution because there's all kinds of statistical things we can calculate based upon the fact that if it's a normal distribution, all these things happen to be true. So stay tuned, and we'll show you how to use a normal probability distribution to its fullest extent, of course, when we don't have a normal probability distribution, those things don't tend to be true as far as the advantages we can get out of understanding what's happening in our data set. So we'll show you how to do that. 